To prepare for recording, connect your mic to one of the two mic inputs using a standard microphone XLR cable. If it's a condenser mic, turn on the 48 volt phantom power. To connect a guitar, use a standard quarter inch guitar cable. If you have an M4 or M6, you can connect a synth or other line level stereo signal to the additional line inputs on the back of the unit using balanced or unbalanced quarter inch cables. The easiest way to hear the mic or instrument on your speakers and headphones is to engage the monitor button. This patches the signal through the M-series interface itself from the input directly to the outputs. For M4 owners, you can monitor inputs 3 and 4 by pressing the 3-4 button. For M6 owners, you can monitor inputs 5 and 6 by pressing the 5-6 button. The input signal is simultaneously sent to the computer to be recorded in your DAW software. To avoid unwanted doubling of live input signals, turn off audio patch through in your DAW software. In Performer Light, choose Studio Menu, Audio Patch Through, Off. In Ableton Live Light, choose Off under the monitoring section of the track. The M4 and M6 front panel includes an input monitor mix knob. Use this knob to blend the live input signal with playback tracks from your DAW. If you want to hear more of your input, turn the knob left. If you want to hear more of playback from your DAW, turn the knob right. If you've connected two microphones that you're using as a stereo pair, and you'd like to monitor them in stereo, push and hold the monitor button to pan them hard left and right. Hold it again to return to mono input monitoring. So far, the monitoring we've discussed is handled by your M-Series interface itself. If you prefer to monitor through DAW software on the computer instead, turn off all the monitor buttons. The benefit of software monitoring is that you can apply effects processing, such as reverb or guitar amp modeling, to the live signal. For example, when I play my guitar, the live signal goes from the interface through USB to the computer, where it can be processed by a virtual guitar amp, cab, and pedals. The process signal then goes back out USB to the interface and onto my speakers or headphones. This entire round trip happens almost instantaneously, and most computers can handle it fast enough that you won't hear any audible delay in the signal, known as latency. Sometimes, however, you may hear noticeable latency due to USB performance on your computer or the audio software and effects you're using. To reduce software monitoring latency on Windows, Open the M-Series control panel and try setting the buffer size to 256 samples or below. On macOS, the buffer setting is found in your host DAW software. In Performer Lite, choose Setup Menu, Configure Audio System, Configure Hardware Driver. In Ableton Live Lite, choose Preferences, Audio. Low buffer sizes may cause your DAW software to feel sluggish, so use the highest setting you are comfortable with while playing through live effects. If software monitoring proves to be too problematic for your system, you can always use the monitor buttons on your M-Series interface instead, as discussed earlier. Please watch the next video in the series to get the most out of your Mo2 M series interface. Thanks for watching.